Hey there, it's Josh Carey here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use your Gmail interface and your Gmail account to send and receive your business email. So for example, I use, love, and rely on Gmail every single day for my email needs, including my joshua at petsittingology.com email, including my info at alishasanimals.com email. So through this interface, I can send and receive all of my business accounts using all of the benefits and features of Gmail, and this is how you do it. First, if you don't already know, you can create a business email account through your cPanel. You'll come over, you'll click on email accounts. You'll enter in the email address you want. You'll create a strong password, create account, and it will instantly create that password and account for you to use. Here, I have a test account set up, hello at joshcarry.com. So if you pull this over, and you click configure email client, it will give you all of the settings you need to populate. But this is how you do it. You go over to Gmail, pull down this little circle here, click on settings. Then click on accounts and import. And there are two sections to note, send mail as, that's obviously going to allow you to send and check mail from other accounts. This is going to allow you to receive. So let's do each at a time, and we're gonna start with the check mail as. So we're gonna click on add a pop mail account you own, and you see it'll ask you for your email address. Type in your full email address, so in this case, hello at joshcarry.com. Now the username, you're going to want to populate your full email address there. So make sure again your username is your entire email address. Type in the password to that newly created email account, not your Gmail password, but the, e the, the password you created to this new address. The POP server, it defaulted properly, mail.joshcarry.com. But again, you can check your settings to see what your own pop server settings are. You can keep the port as default and you can keep all of these unchecked. We're then gonna click add account. And there it is, your mail account has been added. You can now retrieve mail from this account. Would you also like to be able to send mail as hello at joshcarry.com? Of course I do, so let's just say yes, next step. Type in your name that you want it to. You can keep this checked, treat as an alias. You can learn more if you want to, but I always keep that checked, it's fine. Next step, so now it defaults to certain things. This is actually not appropriate. This is mail.joshcarry.com, as I see over here in my settings. So I wanna make sure I have that correct. And then port. And then type in your password there. Then we're gonna click on add account. And it has in fact created it, however, it needs us to confirm that we do in fact own that email address. So before we can start using the Gmail interface to send and receive this email, it needs us to confirm that we own it. So you have to go into your account another way, however you can currently access this, and it will send you a confirmation code. The way I do it is through webmail. And I'm going to go into my email accounts. Then I'm going to pull this down. And I'm going to click on Access Webmail. And it's logging me in. And then you see, I see the Gmail confirmation. Open this up. You can either click on this link or I can copy and paste the 
confirmation code here. I then bring it back to this window, paste that there, verify. And amazingly so, I have the ability now through my current Gmail interface to send and receive email through hello at joshcarry.com. Now, when I go to compose, you'll see that in the from field, it'll give me all of my options where I want to send and receive. Here's my new account. Hello at Josh Carey. I type, I send, and I am in business. I hope that's been helpful. If you have any questions, just let me know, and we'll get you all set up as we can. Thanks for watching.